Hey there, you had a great uh, question in the community just around calculating age based on a birthday that's stored as a timestamp. So timestamps in Xano are uh, stored as Unix timestamps in milliseconds. And the Unix epic started at uh, January 1st, 1970. So that would be the number zero. So your question is, what happens if someone has a birthday before that? Do I have to do a different calculation? And the answer is actually no. Uh, you can do the same exact calculation for someone born after that Unix epic or before it. So of course, those uh, numbers before uh, that January 1st, 1970 date will be negative numbers, which is what sparked that question. Um, but let's go ahead and quickly just look at how you would actually calculate a birth date, or sorry, an age. It's pretty simple. You take the time simp of now, subtract it by that actual birth date, uh, we can divide it by this number, which is just the amount of milliseconds in a year. And then we can use this filter called floor just to round down to the nearest whole number. So let's go ahead and do an example here. And I can actually just put in a date uh, with this format and the timestamp is flexible enough to uh, read that, transform it into that Unix timestamp and calculate that age. So um, I can go ahead and just hit run here. This person born in 1950. You can see that's 72. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to 2001 maybe. And you can see that calculates to 21. So it doesn't matter if that um, timestamp is uh, before 1970 or after, we can use the same exact uh, formula here to calculate that. And I can go ahead and put this in a snippet uh, so you can add this directly to your workspace if you'd like to do so.